Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, as you can see, today's video is highly requested. If you saw my previous video, you know that I believe that you don't necessarily have to be a product junkie to get beautiful curler results. You can get your wash routine down to three products. If you don't believe me, keep watching. Now out of my entire large curly hair product collection, I've narrowed it down to my top three favorite products. It was very hard to do so. It was like choosing your favorite child, you know, strong, but I did it. If you watch that video, then you already know what three products I have chosen. But if you're not a loyal subscriber, <clears throat> I'll tell you right now. So for my shampoo, I have chosen the Curlsmith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Shampoo. I love the shampoo because it is a clarifying scrub but it doesn't have those little bead particles that usually are really hard to rinse out of your hair. So the particles that this scrub is made out of is 100% natural and it's so incredibly fine, it says right here, that you can barely feel it, which is true. So it can penetrate through the roots and effectively exfoliate the scalp and wash off without leaving any residue. Very true. I also love that it has apple cider vinegar, but it doesn't have that nasty apple cider vinegar smell. So I like giving the benefits of apple cider vinegar without having to actually do a very annoying DIY apple cider vinegar rinse. For my conditioner, as many of you know, which I've loved for a long time, which is the Not Your Mother's Natural Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Deep Conditioner. If you want, you don't have to use a conditioner and a deep conditioner after. If you have to choose one of the two, I would say get a deep conditioner that you can leave on for 20 minutes that's full of those extra nutrients to give your hair the moisture that it needs. Now this one is a nutrient rich butter mask and it's supposed to help restore damaged hair for those of you transitioning. This is a good one. And today I'm going to use it to detangle in the shower and then leave on for 20 minutes. So let me show you exactly how I applied both of these products. Hopping in the shower, it is definitely time for a wash. So I'm gonna grab the Curl Smith Scalp Recipe Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Shampoo. This shampoo smells so good. It's just a very refreshing, kind of like floral scent. And I like any type of shampoo that does suds up on my scalp. So even though you are seeing a little bubbly sensation, fortunately it has no sulfates or silicone or mineral oil or parabens. It's cruelty free, certified organic and vegan. Now this shampoo is not a moisturizing shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo. So that means I use it when I really want to make sure my scalp is extra clean. Maybe I have some product buildup from applying product all week long. So this is going to make your hair feel very kind of squeaky clean instead of moisturized. But that's where our deep conditioner is going to come into play once we rinse this all out. So for my conditioner, I'm gonna grab the Matcha Green Tea Wild Apple Blossom Nutrient Rich Butter Mask by Not Your Mother's. I'm gonna grab a nice scoop full and this stuff is pretty thick. So it is nice to have a thicker deep conditioner when you're putting on a hair mask that should be thicker than a normal conditioner. This also smells amazing. It has a pretty strong scent, but it smells so good that I absolutely love it. It might be the best smelling product that I own. So I like to split my hair into two sections, smooth it down my hair and finger detangle. If I can finger detangle, it's a good indication of how much slip a product has. And I was able to easily detangle using this mask. Once I applied it to one side, I got another scoop full and applied a nice generous amount to my other side, raking it through, smoothing it down, and getting rid of all the tangles. Now that my hair is completely detangled, instead of rinsing it out immediately, on the bottle it says leave it for two to five minutes, which you totally can. Put it up in a shower cap, then continue with the rest of your washing routine in the shower. Or you can clip it up, put on a shower cap, and let it sit for 20 minutes. I usually recommend using a deep conditioner at least once a week for a good 20 minutes. That way your curls are gonna be extra moisturized, especially if you're dealing with transitioning, you need some help to get your curls back. After 20 minutes, I then rinsed out all of my conditioner and my curls felt very, very moisturized. So now it's time to style these curls. I personally am a one product type of girl. Recently, I have been trying to incorporate leave-in conditioners. I'm using a leave-in and then a gel, but if I had to narrow it down, I would just use a gel because that's what's going to give you a nice cast and make your curls very defined and it'll last all week long. So I'm grabbing the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. Now let me tell you about this gel. Although I 
absolutely love it. It's not one that I usually like to recommend too often, only because it's so hard to find in the US, let alone someplace else. It is made in Canada, so if you live in Canada, you can just go to Walmart and pick one of these up today. But for the rest of us, you gotta go on a wild goose chase and pray that you can find these in stores. They're sold at Select Marshalls, and they're only $5.99, so it's super affordable. It's just so hard to find. I do believe it's on Amazon, so I have put it in my Amazon store. If you guys wanna check that link in my description box, it is more expensive on Amazon, but if you're desperate, you should be able to find it there. So now let me show you exactly how I apply my styler of choice. So this gel, if you guys haven't seen it before, is pink! How cute is that? And it smells like pink. Like if pink had a scent, this is what it would smell like. But it's kind of like a rosy floral scent. Rubbing it together. And I'm going to smooth and then rake and scratch. Side note, as I wait for this to dry, I am wearing my length check t-shirt because today marks my second set of 30 days of using the Curl Smith hair growth vitamins. So I did it for two months and this month I also used the hair growth elixir and the hair growth serum. So this is how long my hair is now. What do we think? And let me try to pull one down for you, which kind of messes up my curl. 18? I think 17. Yeah. So there you go. Length check now at 17. So let's compare. So every morning for 30 days, I've been applying the Curl Smith Scalp Stimulating Booster to my dry scalp. Every night, I've been applying the Curl Smith Full Length Density Elixir to my scalp. And today marks another completed 30 days of the Curl Smith Ultimate Lengths 30 Day Therapy Hair Growth Vitamins. So here are my comparison photos of April 2020 compared to May 2020 and my hair looks a lot thicker and fuller and it's actually longer. If you look at my April photo, my hair goes all the way down to line number 16, but then when I measure today, it goes down to line 17, giving me an inch of new growth. So I think I'm just gonna keep up with these products and see how long my hair can get. Nice. So now I'm gonna let this air dry. Realistically, I usually do my hair immediately after the shower. Many times for filming, I put on my makeup first so I can look a little bit cuter during this part, but it's better to do your hair and then by the time you finish your makeup, you then can diffuse without getting any frizz. I'll come back to diffuse. And I'm back. My hair is now completely dry. I went a little bit longer than I went to, but here are my results. Just air dried already looking beautiful per usual it has a nice slight crunch to it so it has some really good hold which is why i love this gel so much because it lasts me all week long and when i diffuse it doesn't get frizzy because of this great cast that it has so now that it is completely dry i'm going to diffuse i still use my diva dryer but i use the rizos curls diffuser attachment so let's get dry and get some more volume never fails. Literally every time I use this gel, I get good results. Now I'm gonna shake it out so I can get some more volume at the roots. I'm gonna shake and then I lift it up. Shake and lift. Now I'm gonna spread it out. And I'm only able to do this because there's a nice cast to where my curls are already set. I would not do this if my curls were still wet or trying to dry. That's how you create frizz, but this is how we get 
some more volume so your curls aren't all stuck together. See how it's already bigger? Oh yeah. Grab my pick, pick it out a little bit. Now to add some extra length, I grab my pick and I pull my hair down to kind of elongate those curls. See how this side's now longer than this side? That's how we do it. And there you go, that is my complete easy wash and go routine using only three products. The Curlsmith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Shampoo, the Not Your Mother's Natural Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask as my conditioner slash deep conditioner, and my Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. Let me know if any of you have tried any of these products. Let me know which one is your favorite, and I'd love to know what are your three go-to products. If you were stranded on an island and you only could have three hair products with you, a shampoo, a conditioner, and a styler, what would you bring? You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'm also on TikTok and Snapchat and Twitter, all at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I post new videos every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.